Hello everyone, it's Andy here from Exactly Cleaning Services. Um, this short video today is just to demonstrate um, commercial carpet cleaning. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to break down the procedure of cleaning the carpet um, into every little step, um, starting with the hoovering process, uh, which is probably one of the most important processes because it takes out all the dry soil from um, like deep in the carpet um, fibre. Um, obviously today I'm working on a low profile carpet, so it's not going to be um, a long wall carpet as you'll find in um, a domestic situation. So what I'll do, I'll show you how to do the hoovering, or how we do the hoovering rather, and then we'll take on to the next, the next step of uh, spraying and agitating. floor that uh, has to be cleaned. Um, what we've got to do next is spot all the um, stains and marks on the floor. So what we do we get a micro splitting uh, solution uh, just to have a go at the stain before we actually uh, pre-spray pre the stain to be cleaned. Uh, so if you follow me down here we'll have a look at the stain. Just give it a little spray. Now we never rub a stain, we always just block the stain. Because if you stop of rubbing the stain and you're going to distort the pile and make the stain worse. So as you can see a little bit's coming off on the cloth. And so what we'll do, we'll leave that now um, to dwell in for a bit and then we'll pre-spray the area and um, that's the next step of it. So if you hang on for a sec, we should have done the hoovering stage and the uh, pre-spotting stage on the carpet. Uh, the next stage now is to uh, spray the whole area with our uh, cleaning solution. Um, let that dwell for about 10-15 minutes and then um, it's the cleaning system that we use to uh, get all the dirt out of the carpet after that. So here's the um, spraying stage. Right, so we just uh, pre-sprayed the whole area of the carpet to be cleaned and it's been um, about 10 minutes um, uh, since you sprayed it so that's probably enough dwell time um, for the solution to actually start breaking up the dirt. Um, because this isn't an um, overly dirty area we're going to go over it with um, our low, low moisture cleaning system. Um, so this is the machine we use for that and um, I'll demonstrate now how we're going to do the walk area. area with our um, low moisture uh, procedure um, if I show you the floor there's a certain uh, couple of areas that haven't come up as well as as well as expected so what we're going to do now we're going to bring in our um, hot water extraction unit and give it a thorough deep clean through so if I show you the first one the spot down here um, if you remember this is the area that I spotted on one of the first steps but it hasn't come out as well as we'd hoped with um, the low moisture um, clean and um, if you follow me down here, the entrance area, obviously coming through the main door and in, hasn't really responded that well to the low moisture. So what we'll do, we'll spray the area again, um, we'll get our um, a big hot water extraction unit machine in and just give it a thorough rinse through and that should get rid of the problem. One thing we will do now, if you follow me this way, is once the carpet's all clean, um, is we've got um, one of our um, turbo dryers. So we'll put this fan on. Um, and we can get the carpet dry within a couple hours of the actual cleaning process. We're in the entrance way now of the um, job that we're doing, which is always the dirtiest area of the carpet because it's um, also the first point of contact from when you uh, come in from outside. Now this place has been quite good, they've had um, a walk-off mat where you can wipe your feet off, which saves a lot of the dirt going onto the carpet. Um, so this stage, we're just going to flush all the dirt out now with our um, hot water extraction unit. Um, and the same principle as before, we're going to put a fan on that afterwards just to dry it out. Um, and that should leave it all um, nice and clean. So I'll quickly clean the carpet and then we'll come back and we shall... <laughs> of 
how we clean uh, carpets in a uh, commercial area. Uh, the final step now is um, just packed away the dry because um, uh, the carpets are pretty much dry now. It's been about an hour. Um, well, the final stage now is just to walk through the job, pick up any little bits that haven't uh, come up properly during the cleaning and uh, just make sure the carpet's are right. So we've done um, upstairs here with uh, low moisture cleaning um, and this is pretty much dry. Um, all the stains come up pretty well, which was good. Um, as we went down the stairs, there's just a few little bits of black spots and stains on the stairs which all come up. Um, we always clean the uh, plastic mills and other stairs because they always have uh, feet print and stuff on them. As you can see, the stairs came up really, really well. The half landing here, again, there was just a traffic area of dirt around there. Also, where people come up the stairs, which has come up nice and clean. On the first set of stairs, again, all the uh, stains have come up nicely. And the nosings have come up nice and grey again with the metal. Then we went round here and did a little moisture cleaning around this side. And again, other than uh, the problem stains we had at the start, the yellow stains, they haven't really uh, come out at all with the cleaning, which sometimes happens. You know, you get stains that jump out of a carpet and then you get stains that don't really come out at all. Uh, but this area here came out well. Carpet's pretty much dry. Um, as you walk through the main walk area here, you can see the yellow stains uh, that didn't really come out at all, even with our heavy uh, decreases and everything. In front of the lift area came out all right and obviously that's the main point of contact with the floor here as you come out the main hallway. And this is the main hallway as you can see that's the main door of the uh, office block here uh, so after everyone's come off the entrance mat which is a really good idea to have uh, this needle uh, punch carpet in the entrance way because it just traps all the loose soil in here. So this is always going to be the worst area right the way through uh, from the entrance. But as you can see, what I'll do, I'll put some before and after photos on the end of this video and you can see what it was like before and what it's like after. Um, and they can see the traffic lanes come up really, really well. All the soils come out. You're always going to be left with a little bit of a wear mark because that's the heavy traffic area where most people walk. Uh, but as you can see, it's come out quite well. So that's a quick video by us at Exactly Cleaning Services. Um, if you want to find out more information, you can visit our website at www.ecs-sw.co.uk. Um, if you'd like us to come out and give you um, a free quote, then simply ring the office and talk to Sandra on 01752 406 210. Thank you for watching my video and I look forward to seeing you soon.